Hello, my gorgeous Leos. This is Debs and this is your reading for mid-January 2023. Um, Leo, it's lovely to be with you. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, supporting others and all that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, Leo, Leo, um, I had a rather interesting vision. The image I had was of you, Leo, I think, on the phone to a friend. This friend was going through a really tough time and you, Leo, you were saying, oh, I'm so sorry that happened. Oh my goodness, if there's anything I can do, let me know. I'll drop everything. I'll come and see you. Just give me a ring. I'm there for you 110%. And then she put the phone down and she went back to a laptop and she bashed out an email, which in effect was threatening someone that if they didn't leave her alone, she would seek legal advice. What we have here is a feminine Leo who is, in the nicest sense, stepping into boss mode. This is someone who is, on the one hand, incredibly kind, very caring. But Leo, you've been through a lot. And I feel that you're getting to the point where you're having to be really strong with people who have lied to you, deceived you, taking you for a ride pulling the wool over your eyes, not being upfront and honest, ghosting you. You've had enough, Leo. And so I'm getting this really strange, almost switch personality energy from you. This is you understanding who you are and wanting to be open and honest with everyone. You're there for people that help you, support you. You're there for people you love. You're there for people who have always had your back. But for those that haven't, for those that have caused you problems and issues and a heartache and stress, you're a different person, Leo. So it'll be interesting to see what this reading actually shows us. And of course, we'll dive in. So here we go, guys. Let's jump into this and see where this reading takes us. So Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Leos. This is mid-Jan 2023. Mid-Jan 2023 for my Leos. Thank you, Michael. I'm hearing Archangel Ariel, Archangel Jophiel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Azriel. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, people are beginning to realise it, Leo. You're sitting in a really strong energy. You know, one day you're kind of the pussycat, the next day you're roaring. you got your claws out. People are actually coming forth with a lot more respect because of that, Leo. People are realising that you're no pushover. There's only so much you're going to take. But for the people that have stood by you for the longest time, you are bending over backwards to help them, to be there, to be supportive. It's a really interesting energy. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, it's telling me to cut. I'm seeing someone on her phone and she's just deleting a mass of numbers. And then she's putting her phone down and she's walking into another room. She's thinking to herself, right, what do I have to do now? What's my plan for the day? It's almost as if, Leo, you can cut your emotions off when need be. Mm. I feel some people feel a bit disconcerted about that. But that's the place where you are in your life right now. You're not taking any prisoners. Oh, Leo. Okay, so we start with the lovers. You may have a Gemini coming in who doesn't want things to end with you. We've also got Scorpio. Now, Leo, this vision may tell me that in the nicest sense, you're going to tell this person where to go. I'm sorry, guys, that's what I heard. Because the lovers is someone that you did feel at some point very close to, a lot of physical attraction, but I don't think this person treated you well. I think they're on the return, Leo. But you're a different person than you were when you met them. 
When you met this person, you may have been soft, gentle, kind, compassionate, flexible. I've got to say it, Leo, they may come back to you and find you a very different personality. Because this is someone who walked away from you and they're coming back in. There may be an indication this is somebody who's just looking for a lover who doesn't want to let you go. It may suggest they haven't actually ended another situation or they can't emotionally detach from you. But Leo, this is somebody who may have a shock in store. Okay, guys. King of Cups in the past. So Leo, you may have met a King of Cups, somebody who might be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person may have had love for you, but they kept it inside. This person disappointed you. Now, this is also somebody coming in with a lot of love bombing energy, but there's no commitment. Whatever this was, after you met this person, there was a lot of pain and disappointment. Just a lot of pain and disappointment. What you're realising, Leo, is they're coming back. Six of Cups. In the immediate future, you're contemplating giving this person a second chance. Because what you're looking at is what they are offering you, which is the Ace of Coins. What you're fearing is that if you do accept, it's going to move forward at a really uncomfortable pace, super fast. It's going to turn into messages of passion and you're going to feel slightly, I'm hearing the words, swept out to sea. Oh my goodness, I don't feel on stable ground. I don't know whether or not this is a good idea. Should I say no? I don't know. You're afraid it's going to make you feel a bit unstable. What you don't know, Leo, is that they do want to reconcile with you, but they are also still dealing with a third energy. So they're coming back to you, but they're wearing a bit of a false mask. Now, Leo, with the Ace of Coins, you could be standing your ground. What you would be saying to them is, I assume you're coming back because you're wanting commitment. Because if you're coming back just to pull me into some kind of third party affair, you've got another thing coming. There's no way I'm having that. Mm, Leo. What you're hoping is that with the Five of Swords, this isn't somebody who's going to rush in, take what they want from you emotionally, physically, and then leave. You're very worried. Yeah, Leo. They're not going to be able to do it because you're sitting in the Queen of Wands. You're going to look them straight in the eyes and ask them some possibly quite personal questions. And you're going to do it in such a way that you're also going to analyse whether or not this is someone who is lying to you. You may put them in a slightly uncomfortable place where if there's any twinge of this person fidgeting, looking uncomfortable, not being able to look you in the face, you're going to know that something isn't right. Yeah, Leo. Wow. We've got the Empress. Now, this is your energy. You are sitting in the energy of the Empress. And we've got the Chariot. Now, for some of you, Leo, this is someone coming to you, not wanting to let you go, but they're still married or they have a baby with a Taurus, a Libra or a Cancerian. Yeah. In their energy, we have the Four of Wands and the Seven of Cups. This is someone, Leo, who is going to romance you. They're very confused as to whether or not there's any possibility of having a relationship with you. But what you're going to figure out is this is somebody not single. I almost get the sense, Leo, that this is someone who wants to figure out if you would be wanting a relationship with them. And then this person would try and make a decision about someone they are already in a connection with. But Leo, you're not going to like the way this person is going to do this. It's almost as if, well, if you don't want any kind of relationship with me, then I'll stick with my empress. Mm. 
Not very flattering for the Empress. If this person really wants to be with you, Leo, what you would be hoping is that this is somebody who would end a situation, finally heal, get themselves grounded, and then come forward to you. They're doing it the opposite way round. They're trying to find out if you have feelings for them and whether or not there's a possibility that this could work in the future. But what they're not being honest about is the fact that they're already in a very serious relationship. They could be with somebody and they've got a child or they could be actually married to someone. This is somebody who's wearing a false mask. I think you're going to see straight through this, Leo, and stand your ground. Under the deck, the Nine of Pentacles, you've got a lot to offer, Leo. You're sitting in the energy of the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. You're very strong, you're very stable, you speak your truth. With the Ace of Swords, I think that you were in two minds as to whether or not you wanted to release this person in the past. I think you did. I think it wasn't something you really wanted to do, but there was a really uncomfortable feeling inside you which said, I just don't think I trust this person. I just don't think that they are totally single. I think that they are in a situation with someone else. And with the Ace of Swords, you cut free of this person. I think, Leo, they bitterly regretted that they didn't put more effort into this with you. And potentially, I think they regretted not leaving the other person because I think that connection is on the rocks. So they're coming back to you. They don't want this to end, but there's been no transformation in their situation. You would still be a lover as opposed to someone that they would commit to. And I think you're seeing through this and you're nervous. This person's coming in with a lot of, I'm hearing, fake ego, fake confidence. This is someone who is going to move towards you with the energy of, you're bound to say yes. I mean, you know, look at me, a little bit egotistical. Look at me. You really want to be with me. I know you want to be with me, Leo. But it's false. Because underneath that, we've got the Ace of Wands, which is somebody who may be looking just for a lover. And the Five of Pentacles. This is someone who I feel underneath feels left out in the cold from you. They may be struggling financially. And this is someone who is, I'm feeling, wanting to leave one very difficult situation. It could be there with an empress and a baby and the relationship is not going well. They feel left out in the cold. Maybe this person's giving all the attention to the young child. And there may also be seriously depleted finances. I think this person is angling to leave that situation and jump into a situation with you, but they wanna sound you out first. You're gonna realize all this, Leo, and I think you're gonna push this person away, okay? Hmm. But we'll see what comes through in the reading. So, Leo, I'm hoping it's positive. It may not be, but we have what we have on the board. So there we go. In the next few weeks, I'm going to say in the next couple of months, Leo, this person's going to come forward to you. This was somebody you knew in the past. You were very attracted to this person. You could have had a dalliance with them, a few dates. They could be a Gemini or a Scorpio in particular. But this is somebody who remembers how warm, loving, caring, affectionate you were to them. And they don't want to, to completely close out the cycle with you. But this person is holding a secret. This is somebody who is either still married or this is someone who has a baby mama sat at home. And this is someone who may not be getting any. OK. I don't know. I haven't had a child myself, but lots of friends who have. And basically, when you've got a young child, all the attention goes to that young child. Sleepless nights and absolutely no time or energy for a lot of physical connection. OK, so this is somebody who may be feeling emotionally as if they're a bit shut out from their empress or they simply are remembering a very hot, steamy time with you, Leo, a few months ago or even a few years ago. So they're coming back in. 
Whoever this person was, Leo, King of Cups, they did begin to develop feelings for you. But this is someone who kept it all inside. And I think because of the situation they found themselves in with an empress, they were actually still married to somebody or they had a baby mama on the side. They detached from you and for a period of time, Leo, you felt very upset about this. You may have felt you missed an opportunity. For some of you, you may have felt, is there anything else I could have done to have really made this work? Because I think this was a bit of a harsh cutoff. You may have wondered whether or not it was you, but Leo, it wasn't. This is someone who simply couldn't or didn't want to make a decision between you and someone else. So what did they do? They just ran off. They just left you. What you're thinking about now, Leo, is that this is somebody who's coming back. Now, to make it a little bit more complicated and heart-wrenching, Leo, this is a past life soulmate. You shared a past life with this person and your soul recognises theirs. So this for you is going to be difficult because I think what the divine is saying to you, Leo, is stand up for yourself. Archangel Michael, when do we have the Ace of Coins next to the Three of Cups for my beautiful Leos, please? In the future. Thank you. 3rd or 4th of February to the 12th of April. So there's going to be intermittent communication, Leo, between, I would say, the beginning of February and the middle of April. This person's coming forward to you. They're sitting in a rather flighty energy because this is someone who really just wants to have a good time. Three of Cups is, hey Leo, it's been a long time, hope you're well, are you around, it'd be great to meet up, we can have a few drinks, we could go out. Mm. But this is somebody who was coming forward just simply wanting to have a good time, okay? This is not somebody who was coming forward to you to say sorry about what happened in the past. I really apologise, I do want to talk to you because I want to make this work. No, Leo, this is somebody who wants some fun, okay? Not only that, they're still attached to somebody else. Now, Leo, one of two things. This person is either trying to make out that they want to build a relationship with you, and that's what you're questioning. Okay, so you're coming back to me, I assume you want a relationship with me. Or, Leo, this is you saying to this person... I'm looking for a commitment. I'm not looking just to entertain you because you're a bit bored in your relationship. So you're standing your ground. We'll find out more about this when we clarify. What you're fearing, Leo, is that if you open the door to this person again, they're going to take full advantage of it. I mean, this is you going out one evening. The next morning, they send you a message. And the next day they send you two messages. Leo, I really want to see you again when you were around. And it's just kind of going to overtake you. You're going to feel uncomfortable because it's going to be all about the passion. You're worried about this. I've got to be honest, Leo, for some of you, this person you may have found very difficult to detach from in the past. Even though they didn't express their emotion, King of Cups keeps their emotions to themselves. This is somebody who may have been very pushy on a physical level. Come on, Leo, we've had the third day. Are you putting out? Kind of energy. Very uncomfortable, a little bit immature, something you didn't really want to have to deal with, Leo. I think this person left you in the past. You may have wondered if it was you. Did they not find you sexy enough? Did they not really want to see you again? But I think this is somebody who was simply trying to deal with the fact that what they wanted with you to begin with was a fling, but they found themselves having emotion for you and so they're detached. But I do think this person was very harsh with you. They may have sent a couple of messages after that time. Hey, Leo, what are you doing? Are you round tonight? And you might have said no because you just didn't trust what this person wanted from you. And after that, they may have just ghosted you. I, I don't think you were treated very well by this person, Leo. And I think you realise very quickly that even if they did have emotion for you, this is somebody who really just wanted a physical connection. And I think it just annoyed you. So this is you fearing, Leo, if it does begin again, it's going to get into that sexual energy incredibly quickly. 
And I, it's not what you want, Leo. I'm just feeling as if you're looking at the ace of coins. That's what you want. What you're hoping is that this person isn't simply trying to romance you for maybe another one night stand or a series of passionate nights and then just leave again. Five of swords. You're nervous, Leo. And here is you, Queen of Wands, head up, looking very strong, absolutely standing your ground. And I think what you're going to do, Leo, is ask them some very straight questions. It could make them feel a little bit jittery because they're not going to be able to hide anything from you, Leo. Now, Leo, this could be your person's energy, could be your energy. You could be sat in the energy of the Empress. This is you reaching Empress level. And with the energy of the chariot, you're moving forward. Life is good. You're doing well in your career. You're building your business. It's going very, very well. And this is you not wanting to slip back and be tempted to sit in some kind of victim mentality that you may have sat in in the past. This is you learning your lessons. Or what is hidden from you is that this person has had a child with someone, could be a Libra, a Taurus or a Cancerian, that they don't want you to know about. Could be somebody at a distance. Or this is somebody who is married with the energy of the Empress and they're moving very quickly towards you because this person is all caught up in the new baby. No time for your person, sat in the King of Cups. So they hadn't had any Leo for quite a while and they're thinking back at hot and steamy nights with you. This is definitely your person's energy. Either with a Four of Wands, they're confused as to whether or not you would allow them back into your life. Is it possible that you two could rebuild? You'd start off as lovers. Maybe after that you talk about getting more serious. Then I think they would make a decision to drop the other person. Or, Leo, this is somebody already in a four of wands living with another woman and they're basically dipping into other options. So, Leo, I've got to be honest, this is somebody who may want to play the field and you're their first port of call. <laughs> so not only does this person not really want anything stable with you, Leo, but this is somebody who may be looking at five other options if you turn them down. Yeah. So, Leo, this is you. Nine of Pentacles. This is you, strong, grounded, stable. You've worked very hard to build your own stability. With the Ace of Swords, you cut free of this person. It was quite painful, but you did it. You decided, okay, the best thing for me to do is hold my head high, move forward and cut free of this person. With the Six of Wands, you were either victorious in doing that or this is someone who is wanting to come forward towards you. The problem is, Leo, this is somebody who's going to do anything and everything to get you to say yes. They don't want you to turn them away. They're going to turn up looking super hot. They may even go as far as bringing a gift with them. They are absolutely convinced that they can win you round. But they are sitting in some arrogance. What they're really wanting is the Ace of Wands. What they're really wanting is to get it on with you as soon as possible. Because with the Five of Pentacles, not only are they not getting any from their person, but this is somebody whose finances are depleted, and if they see you doing very well, they may be considering leaving that person, whether they're married to them or just living with them, to start a brand new life with you. So it's a little bit complicated, Leo, but I hope you're with me. Okay, let's do this, guys. Let's see what comes through. Archangel Michael, what is the energy, please, of the lovers next to the death card in the reverse? Two of once, yeah. Leo, you don't want to be drawn down the garden path into this shadow energy. You want to stay in the light. But this person is going to put a choice in front of you. Huh. Two of wands, two of coins, yeah. So they could be juggling you with somebody else or wanting to. So Leo, they could be wanting to juggle you with somebody else at a distance and they don't want you to know. Or Leo, it's going to be very, very difficult to turn this person away. Because you may feel very attracted to them, 
there could be a lot of chemistry. And at some point, Leo, you may have felt this could have worked. What you're thinking about is, can I trust this person? Because Leo, before they came, they came in with the Knight of Wands. It was all about the passion, which is fine if you're both single, but I think this person was hiding a secret that they were involved with somebody else in the past and they hid it from you. What is Leo thinking about? Three of Wands. Whether or not this person has been genuinely missing you from afar, because they're coming in. Is this person genuinely missing me or are they missing this lover's energy that we had at some point? Michael, who's the king of cups in the past? Who's the king of cups in the past? Yeah, nine of cups. Mm -hmm. So somebody full of energy, lots of fun, but this person was quietly sitting in overindulgent energy. They just wanted to be indulged, Leo. They were sitting in a really selfish frame of mind. They wanted you to pamper them, cook for them, have sexy nights with them, and then they kind of left you. They kind of left you. Yeah, they may have sent a very blunt message. Yeah, Leo, it was great, great fun with you. Lovely time with you. Um, I'll catch up with you soon. And you never heard from them again. And this might have been quite painful. What's the energy after that time with the Five of Cups? Yeah, I mean, this person literally just walked off, left you. And I think you were very upset by this. Yeah, you were very upset. Oh my goodness, the devil. You may have wondered whether or not this person was simply sat in their shadow side, or you may have walked away from a Capricorn. For some of you, Leo, I have to admit, you may have been a bit obsessed with this person. You may have just found them incredibly attractive, but you knew it was toxic. You knew it was toxic. Okay. Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the Six of Cups in Leo's thoughts? You're thinking, Leo... When this person comes back, that there is this soul recognition. I mean, this is you thinking, oh my goodness, they've returned, you know? Mm, yeah. Yeah. You're in your head, Leo. You don't really know what to do about this. I think you're worried of falling back into believing them. What is on Leo's mind? What is on Leo's mind? Yeah, Leo, you've healed already from this person, the star. You've already healed from this person. And this is you thinking, do I really want to go back into this really awful five of cups, six of cups, devil energy? But I'm going to tell you now, Leo, for some of you, you'll be tempted but try to keep your feet on the ground. I think the divine is warning you, Leo, this person is coming back. And unless you want to be heartbroken again and have to learn that painful lesson again, I think the divine is suggesting that you stand your ground and you potentially turn your back. Archangel Michael, why is this person sat in the Three of Cups? Yeah, King of Coins. So this is someone who romanced you in the past, Leo, but didn't commit because I think they were committed to somebody else. This is somebody who is coming forward, still wearing a mask, but pretending they're the king of coins, pretending that they want to commit to you. But what they're really looking for is a bit of fun. Could be this king of coins is somebody who is going to portray the air of someone who wants to commit. I've got to say it, Leo, I think they're already committed. Who is this person? Could be a Virgo with a hermit. This is somebody who I feel feels left out in the cold in their relationship. 
What is their energy? Yeah, Leo, I'm sorry. I mean, we've got the King and Queen of Pentacles. I think this is somebody who is married or they have a child with someone who they don't actually get on with. It may be financially a very successful relationship, but there's no intimacy, there's no passion, there's no romance, there's no affection. I think this person's ready to leave that relationship, but they haven't done it yet. This is quintessentially the really bored married man whose wife is obsessed with their children or their young child. They're being left out in the cold. And so they're coming back. Mm, true life. This is someone who's in a really complicated situation. Now, Leo, it could even be for some of you that... When you had a dalliance with this guy, this is somebody who moved on to another lover, got them pregnant, and maybe this person's family put pressure on them to marry that person. So they could even be in a situation that if they weren't married before, they were just wildly playing the field, but maybe had a longish term partner on the side, but they got somebody else pregnant and had to marry that person. There was pressure put on them and they didn't actually love that person. So they may be coming back to you. What is this person going to say to Leo? Knight of coins. Leo, I don't know what this person is up to, but they're sitting in a really manipulative, deceptive energy. We've got the King and Queen of Pentacles, which tells me that they're already in a stable, serious relationship. This person is living with this woman or married to her, but they're coming in with an offer to commit to you. So I don't know what's going on with this person. What is going on? OK, they're having arguments on the home front. Yeah. This king of coins and their queen of pentacles are having massive arguments. Why are they having massive arguments? Okay, because they faced a tower moment in their life. Now, whether or not the tower moment was this woman falling pregnant and they had to go through a speedy marriage... Whether or not one of these people lost their jobs and they're now financially depleted and this man feels as if he has to support this woman and he hasn't got any money and he knows you're sat in the Nine of Pentacles. I don't know, Leo, but he's not having a good time. And all he can think about is, I wish to God I'd chosen Leo. Wow. There was love. There was passion. There was togetherness. There was a soul connection. She was sitting in the Nine of Pentacles. What did I do? So this guy is going to come racing back into your life, pretending he's still single, pretending he actually wants to commit to you. I think actually in an ideal world, Leo, he would want to commit to you if he wasn't saddled in the nicest sense with another woman that he's absolutely not telling you about. So this is tricky. What is his energy? Yeah, highly stressed. Four of Swords. How am I going to get out of this really serious commitment I'm in and just leave it behind to be with Leo? Because they're stuck. This is a guy, I feel, Leo, who is stuck. Yeah. What he's having nightmares about, Leo, is you walking off into the sunset and meeting somebody brand new or... What they're having nightmares about is having to stay in this really toxic situation with this woman that they don't love. King and Queen of Pentacles are very secure, but I have a feeling, looking at the Queen of Pentacles under the deck and the Five of Coins, which I think is him, she's got the money. So he may even have married somebody for the financial stability and he's miserably unhappy. I don't know. What is his situation? Emperor. He's married. I think the emperor and the empress, he's married. Emperor and the empress, king and queen of pentacles. 
What is he looking for from Leo? Oh, Leo, be careful, be careful, be careful. What he's looking for is the eight of coins. He wants to work on the connection with you because you're nice and financially stable and he wants to leave the other woman behind. So he's going to come in pretending that he missed you. He can't wait to be with you. You're so attractive. You're exactly what he wants. But he comes with baggage, Leo. He comes with baggage because he's actually with somebody else. Yeah, he's going to do it sneakily, under cover of darkness. I think your intuition is going to be on fire, Leo. Because there's something about this that isn't going to sit right with you. I mean, for instance, if you say to this person, well, don't come to me, I'll come to you, they may make all sorts of excuses as to why that's not convenient. Well, it's not convenient, Leo, because they're possibly living with this woman. All right? They're going to want to see you. And then not only that, Leo, they're probably going to want to see you in your home so you're easier to seduce in your home, right? Hmm. Why is Leo sad in the Ace of Coins? You're questioning this person. Hi, Priestess. You're going to use your intuition about this and it's going to be on point. I don't think you're going to say very much, Leo. I think you're going to question them, as in you're not going to give them much information about you. I think you're going to question them. Yeah. Because you want to manifest commitment, Leo, not somebody who is desperate to get out of another relationship. And wants to land themselves on you. Yeah, no, that's not good. What is Leo questioning them about? I mean, you're going to be blunt, Leo. Ten of Cups says, oh, well, I don't understand why you're coming back to me because I thought you were a happily married man. They may look shocked, Leo, that you found out. You may not know for sure, but you're going to look at this person's face and see their reaction. Are they looking guilty? Hmm. What is Leo going to say? Yeah, I thought you had a child. I heard rumours that you had a child. Again, at tower for this person. How the hell does Leo know that? You're going to question them, Leo, in such a way that you're going to put them on the spot when you see them. This is not going to be a series of emails or messages. Because, Leo, you want to be with this person face to face, when you ask these questions, because you want to look and see how they're reacting to them. On email, you can't see somebody's facial expression, right? What is Leo saying? Oh, strength card, yeah. This is you. You're going to be very strong. Look at that steely gaze, Leo. <laughs> look at that steely gaze. You don't mess with that woman. <laughs> Leo, uh, you're going to hold back from this person until they've answered some very straight questions. What else is Leo saying? What else is Leo saying? Seven of coins. If they ask anything personal about you, Leo, you're just going to talk about your work. If they say, well, have you dated anyone? Are you seeing anyone seriously? Ah, oh, okay, I just wondered if you thought about me, you're going to turn it straight back to work. I've just been really busy. I've been concentrating on me. I've been working very hard. I've been creating my financial stability. Hasn't been easy, but I'm getting there, you know. You're not going to want to talk about your personal life, Leo. Yeah. What is the energy between these two people? Yeah, Leo, there's a third wheel in the mix and you know it. Three of coins, they're sat in the three of cups. Yeah, Leo, they're going to try their luck. I don't think you're going to have it. Let's have a look. What is the energy of the Queen of Wands? Yeah, again, Leo, Knight of Swords, a lot of very straight talking from you or questions from you. 
Yeah. You're going to push this person away. It's going to be disappointing for them. I just think they're going to be a bit shell-shocked, Leo, at the change in you. I think before you wanted to give this person the benefit of the doubt, I think you took them into your life. You were kind and compassionate and caring and affectionate. I think you were very sweet to this person. And I think they took full advantage of that and left you feeling incredibly hurt and upset. This time around, Leo, they're going to see you standing in the Queen of Wands energy. Yeah. So you're going to push this person away. Yeah. Yeah, you're very guarded. You're prob probably going to come across Leo as being a little bit cold, which is not in your nature at all. But I think with this particular person, you simply don't trust it. And I think if anything, once you have intuited or found out that they're definitely still in a relationship with somebody else, I think you're going to feel angry. And I think that anger is going to turn you cold. I think the passion's just going to go. Yeah. What's this person going to say to Leo? Temperance. Sagittarian energy. What this person's going to say is, I've changed. I'm not so forceful as I was before. Maybe this is a person who was just all about the passion. They're going to try and pretend, Leo, that they've changed. I don't believe that you see them changing at all. What is Leo saying to this person? What is Leo saying to this person? Yeah, Leo, I'm sorry. What you're going to say to this person is, I went through a lot of pain over this and that pain changed me. But I learned a very serious lesson to stand up for myself and to not leave myself open to being hurt. And so, I'm sorry, it's no. What you're saying, Leo, is you've ascended. You're in very high vibe energy. You're in awoken energy. This is you, very busy. You're doing your thing. You're sitting in the light. And you are not going to be dragged back to the energy of the devil and the five of cups. You're just not doing it. I think the fear of you having to learn those lessons all over again is enough to cause you to pull right back from this person, despite the chemistry. Okay, what is Leo saying to this person? <laughs> Ten of coins. Leo, you're either saying to this person, look, I'm sorry, but I think you're married or I think you're living with somebody that you're not getting any from. Or you're saying, I'm happy and I'm building my empire. I don't want to get embroiled with you again. I'm sorry, it's just done. Leo. Yeah. And the wheel moves forward. This is the divine pushing you into a very happy, lucrative phase of life, Leo. Because I think this might have been a test. Okay. Challenging, I know. What is going to happen with this person? What is going to happen with this person? What situation are they going to end up in? King of Wands. They may take action, Leo. They may be more forceful. What is this person going to do? Yeah, Ten of Wands. They may end up leaving that other person eventually because simply they can't deal with this relationship. It's just not working out. But this is also someone who's under a hell of a lot of pressure in their life. There's something here, Leo, which makes me feel as if they wanted to move towards you because they felt you'd lift the pressure off them. Whether it's just because of your sunny nature 
your work ethic, your stability. They simply felt that by moving towards you, you would give them a happier life. But I think you're turning them down flat. You're concentrating on your, your business, your stability, you. And they kind of can't believe it. I don't think, Leo. Because remember, this is somebody who's coming in initially with quite a lot of arrogance. With the Six of Wands. Underneath the deck, the moon. What's hidden from you, Leo, they could be married to a Cancerian or they could have a child with a Cancerian. We've also got the energy of the Fool, which is Aries. Leo, should we get messages? Let's have a look. Love Oracle, let's see what they want to say to you. Archangel Michael, can we have messages from this person to my Leos, please? Yeah. They know it. You deserve better than me. Yep, they know it. They know they hurt you. They know they lied to you. They know they're coming forward in deceptive energy. Still, they know that you've got every right to push them away. Yeah, they're going to reach out to you soon. I'm planning on reaching out to you. So I would say in a couple of months, if that, a few weeks. Yeah, they miss you, Leo. But I'm almost already sensing that this is someone who was planning on saying all the right things. Hmm. Yeah, I'm afraid of commitment. I think this is somebody who's got wrapped up with a woman who got pregnant. They're in a long term relationship, but they're not doing very well because I don't think they were ready for a serious commitment. I think they were pressurized into marrying this woman. Or living with this woman long term, right? And they're just not happy. You are the person of my dreams. Yeah, I'm sorry, Leo. I'm getting a love bombing energy. Yeah, this was just a fling. Yeah, Leo, you're just going to push them away. Yeah, that says it all, Leo. Secrets and deception. There's a lot you don't know about this person, the situation they're in. I think you're going to stand up for yourself. You're doing beautifully well, Leo. You're sitting in the sun, the ten of pentacles and the wheel of fortune. You're going for your dream. Okay, and I think you're pushing this person away. So my Leos, mm, challenging reading, but that's what we have. I'm leaving it there. Take care of you. And I will be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you soon, my loves. Bye now.